Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2014 Grade 11 12 Contest, question 17. So, the question is Which option shows all real values of x such that, and then this is equal to 4, or makes a correct statement about all real solutions? Hints Factor all polynomials and convert logarithms to the same base. All right, so this is just a reminder on how to use formulas for logarithms. And now here, it's just showing how logarithm a base b equals to y is just another way to rewrite b to the power of y is equal to a. All right, and then the next rule just shows how to rewrite the logarithm of a product because we have p times q as a sum of logarithms. And then the next rule shows how to rewrite a logarithm of a power by just moving the exponent, which here is q, to the front and multiplying that by the logarithm, still keeping the p and then the base b. Alright, and now the next rule just shows how to rewrite a logarithm with a different base. So here we have base b and now here we have a quotient with base c. And now we can see if we would swap a and b then here this would be a and this would be a or this would this would be b and this would be a therefore that would be an inverse of this quotient and from that we can see logarithm a base b this is equal to well it would be 1 over logarithm b base a by just swapping those values it gives the inverse okay now let's look at the question from the hints it says factor all polynomials and then convert the logarithms to the same base. So let's focus on factoring the polynomials. Now, for here we have the polynomial 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. And if we wanted to factor this, we could do, we could make that equal to 0. And then see what x values would make that equal to 0. And then just do x minus the first 0 times x minus the second 0. And then we would have it. But now, looking at it closely, we can just see that this polynomial is just the square of 3x plus 2, this base for this logarithm. <coughs> and now, we can also see that this polynomial, 24x squared plus 28x plus 8, is a product of these two bases, 8x plus 4 and 3x plus 2. And that is kind of a giveaway because of the 8x times 3x is equal to the 24x squared. Alright, so now let's, to make it easier to write this, we will write the first base, 8x plus 4 equals to A, and the second base, 3x plus 2 equals to B. Alright, now let's rewrite this. So we have log, and then we know that this is just this base squared, so this is b squared. So log b squared base a. And then we have plus Then we have log, and then we know that this is a product of the two bases, so this is log, and then in brackets, a times b, and then this is base b. All right. So... Now let's look at here. Well, actually, now here we can see we will use the exponent, the power rule, and here the exponent is two, so we will move the two to the front and do the two times the log logarithm, and then still keeping the b 
base A. And now here we have logarithm and then the product. So here we have the product rule already laid out for us. And then we have log plus the logarithm A base B. And then we would have plus logarithm B base B, but we can see from this rule, we just from B to get to B, it would just be B to the power of one is equal to B. So therefore logarithm B base B is just one. So we will just write plus one. And then of course, still at the end, we have equals to four. All right, now to make this simpler, let's just call log A base B Y. And therefore, we know if we would just have logarithm b base a, this is 1 over this, which is 1 over y, and 2 times that is 2 over y. So we have 2 over y, and then we have just plus y, and then we have 1, and bringing the 4 over here, 1 minus 4 is minus 3, and this is equal to 0. So now we will do zero is equal to, now we want to factor this, we will just multiply everything by y to get rid of this denominator. Therefore, we will have y times y is y squared. And then we have y squared times minus three y or minus three y. And then plus two. And this is equal to, factoring this, we will get y minus 1, y minus 2. Okay, so now to make more space, we will just erase this. Okay, so now we know that logarithm and then the A base B is equal to Y and then we have equals to, see we know it's one because here to make the zero we have Y is one and then Y is two. So if it was one, then we have, we have, if this was equal to one, then b to the power of one must be equal to a. And that would be showing that three x plus two must be equal to a, which is eight x plus four. So if we brought the three x over here, we would have eight x minus three x is five x. Bring this over here is minus two then we would just have, divide everything by five is x. Then we would have x is equal to negative two over five. And then the other value for y to make this two, or to make this zero would be then two. And that would be then if b to the power of two is equal to a. Alright, so we already know that is 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So we have 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. And then this is equal to the 8x plus 4. So we still have 9x squared, 0 equals 2, and then the 9x squared 
then we have 12x minus 8x is 4x. And then 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So factoring this, we can just have, factoring out x, we have x times, and then 9x plus 4. And now to make this 0, x is equal to 2, or x is equal to 0. And then negative 4 over 9, because we do divide this by 9, it's 4 over 9, then to make it negative. All right, so we have the real solutions being x is the negative 2 over 5, 0, and negative 4 over 9. All right, now let's look at the options. First, we have 0. Well, we have more than just 0. We have two other real solutions, too. 13, no. Negative 2 over 5, no, we have two others. Negative 4 over 9, no, we, again, we have two others. Now, E, all solutions are given by two of the numerical options. No, because we have three of the numerical options. We have 0, negative 2 over 5, and negative 4 over 9, which are here and here and here. Then F says all solutions are given by three of the numerical options. Yes. Again, we have this value, this, and this. And then G, all solutions are given by all four of the numerical options. No, we just have these three. Therefore, the answer is F. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.